Hi, Dr. Jim Happel. I'm a con marketing consultant with the St. Lucia Tourist Board based in St. Lucia in the British West Indies. Dr. Happel, um, this is the first time in about five years that you are actually approaching the German market again at ITB. Why is that? Well, uh, Nadine, what we see is uh, obviously with the strength of the euro and increased interest in the Caribbean, we felt that after we pulled out to a certain extent in uh, the early years of the decade that it was time to come back and look seriously at Germany because we've got a lot of new hotels opening over the next 24 months, a number of them that we think that will be attractive to the German market and also further uh, markets behind Germany. And so we started talking with uh, some of the carriers to see about the possibility of getting non-stop service back to St. Lucia. And we've had some very positive meetings. We've just appointed new sales representation here in Germany late last year. And uh, we're just ramping up our efforts in Europe in general. And um, how important are events like ITB to you generally? Because we know that next year you will host CHA in St. Lucia, so how important are these events? Yeah, well trade shows as a whole have been around, as you know, for many, many years and they've changed over the years. I mean, one of the challenges with the German market is there's been a lot of consolidation. So in the old days you might talk to about six or seven different airlines and maybe be 10 or 15 different tour operators. Well now, because of the consolidation, you just have to have relatively few meetings but with key personnel. So it's a very efficient way to meet people very quickly over a few days. And then obviously there's a lot of networking uh, tour operators from other countries that you might not otherwise see. We've had Russian tour operators come by the stand. We've had operators from uh, Hungary, Poland, and some of the other uh, Eastern, Eastern Bloc countries because they're all now looking to develop business. So it, the ITB for us is very, very useful. Um, you were saying about CHA Marketplace, which is going to be our opportunity. We're hosting it in St. Lucia in January of 2009, where we will bring the tour operators to our island so they have an opportunity to see what we have to offer. And we're expecting about 300 to 400 tour operators and purchasers uh, will be in St. Lucia for that week in January. So, yeah, we're very optimistic. You mentioned new properties um, earlier, so is it mainly the properties that you're promoting here or is it basically CHA that's more important at the moment? So what do you actually promote? Yeah, well that's, it's, that's a good question. It's a little bit of, bit, bit of both because you know, talking to the trade and the tour operators, we're reminding them about CHA Marketplace, but equally we're telling them about the new properties that we have and the existing ones that we have. We have three sandals properties, for example, in St. Lucia, which is a bit unusual. I mean, typically sandals only, apart from Jamaica, only has one property. So we have the three, and then we have the Armand properties, Morgan Bay and Smugglers. They're two, two big all-inclusives, very attractive. Both of them have undergone major, major renovations over the past 12 months. But we've got a lot of new hotels under construction. We've got uh, a rock resorts property called The Landings, which is very, very high-end quality, top quality. We've got the West End parody under construction, which will open in November with 300 rooms, and a Greg Norman 18-hole championship golf course. So that opens this November. And then next year, we're going to have the Ritz-Carlton opening, our Raffles Resort opening, and some other hotels, smaller hotels opening, all top, top end, top quality. So we need to get the message out so the tour operators are aware and the customers are aware that all of this new construction is going to result in some very, very nice new products in the next 24 months. So what are the plans going forward? I suppose getting ready for the big show? Well, yes, uh, a lot of what I do is working not just with the trade, but the airlines. And in November, November the 1st, we have British Airways starting non-stop service from London instead of at the moment it goes over Antigua so we're going to have three flights a week non-stop from London and we're meeting with Virgin Atlantic about non-stop service from Europe as I say we've been talking to some of the German carriers also uh, we wait to see how this Air Berlin Condor LTU you know merger plays out but we're very optimistic uh, we'll see what happens there so, yeah, there's a lot of things that, that we, we, we can do to, to improve that situation. Also talking to North American carriers, we've got non-stop service now out of New York to St. Lucia. A lot of our German visitors, for example, come over Atlanta. You know, Delta flies Frankfurt, Atlanta, Atlanta to St. Lucia non-stop. So we get a lot of people coming over Atlanta. Delta is very big in Europe. 
So, you know, we're always talking to the carriers about ways to improve and upgrade and things are working out very well.